it's it's something that I have not revisited for years. It's something that's very difficult for me to tell you now. I mean, after so many years that I have to talk about this, it's very difficult because it kind of it kind of changed who I was, the the person I was then, to the person I am now. Sorry. It's okay, Yuri. Take your time. Take your time, Yuri. Don't. We're we're not in a hurry. So you think after eight years it wouldn't affect me so much? <laughs> You know, you're not the only one. There's so many people that have suffered uh, exactly the same because of these guys. There's, there's even the case of the girl that uh, has taken her life. You know that, right? Well, it, it, it's a thought that crossed my mind a couple of times, and um, for somebody to have to do that, you telling me about it, it makes me feel her pain. You know. So, um, I'm, I, I've shut out a lot of these memories. I've, I've, I've shut them out. I've closed it off. I never talk about it, you know? So for me to do this interview with you, that's why I had to think about it for so long. Because I didn't want to be the way I am now. I, I wanted to be a bit stronger. But clearly it's um, a little more difficult than I thought. They brought me outside and I said, you know, wh 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 where are you taking me, you know? And he says, come this way. And all of a sudden I see all these, this Guaria Banavan just parked right outside um, Bikini. And they walk and they tell me to go inside and sit down. So I sat down and I said, you know what? I'm bleeding out of my head. My hands are behind my back. I want to go to the hospital, right? And I stood up. And he looked at me, he says, what do you want to do? I said, I want to go to the hospital. And he threw me a punch to my face and hit me. And I sat back down. And I said, all I asked was, I'd like to go to the hospital. He says, where do you want to go? And he hit me again. I said, you know what? I said to myself, Yuri, sit down. Just don't say anything. You know? There were two officers there. There was... I looked at them, they walked away behind the door, and um, nothing, that was it. They, they, they saw what happened, but nobody did anything. And um, then one of the, the officer, uniformed officers, um, picks me up and says, we're going to the interrogation room. And I, I, I thought to myself, why, why do I need to be interrogated for a, a little fracas in the nightclub? This is, this, something's not right. It doesn't feel right. They come running across with the keys and they open it. And I walk up inside there and there's all these guys, um, Bakari sitting on a, on, 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 they got a, a desk, like a, um, a long desk, mm -hmm. and then Bayana was, 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 was standing up there, and as soon as I walked into the room, they started hitting me. I put my hands up, because they, they had taken the cuffs off. As I walked in, they took the cuffs off, and they started beating me. How I just put my hands up. How many of them? There was about seven people in the room, and... Um, he just started hitting me, and um, 
I was moving and he was swinging and eventually he started kicking me and I just went to the ground and just went into fetal position and um, they started beating me. I, 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 wasn't, I was trying to protect my face um, and eventually I, there was blood on the ground and I got up um, and then they started to, to ask me questions and every time they asked me a question they hit me whether it be with a, 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 a plastic bottle, whatever they could have found, they hit me with it. They were so calm about the whole situation. You know, they, 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 they. The, 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 the most, the worst one was Bakari actually, because he was, he was just so calm about it. He was the one that actually asked if I like to play games, and um, he asked the other guys for a gun because he wanted to play Russian roulette. You know, he was he was so calm about it, right? Uh, um, when they burned me with cigarettes on my back, I, I think if I had a cigarette in his mouth, and Bakari took it from him and burned me on my back, and I kind of pushed it off. Um, the, the 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 whole thing about it was what 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 people need to know is that you had police officers, everybody sitting in the background, just watching these two guys have their way. And it was, to me, I was, I, I, I was, I was scared. I thought I was going to die. I thought, thought that was it for me. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, when uh, when they went in the back and they told me, you know, stop bleeding on the floor. Uh, and I started to cry, actually, and they started to mimic me and make fun of me and call me a monkey, right? And I'm, I'm looking at Bakari and I'm studying, why are you calling me a monkey, you know? You're more, they're not just like me, man, you know? What? What what makes you so much better than me? I've asked myself this question for many years. What makes him so much different to me? Is it because you weren't able to 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 to, to get your way? I I I don't understand it. To me, I can't, can't understand why they had to take it to that extent that they brought a dirty mop from the back, cleaned the floor, and then they said, you know what, clean your face too. And they started mop, wiping my face with this mop and pushing it in my face. You know, it was degrading. Um, at that point in time, you know, you, 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 look, at, you look at things like, People getting beaten up, uh, tortured in Iraq, and etc. And you, 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 you're like, what, what did I do to, to, to deserve all this treatment? You know. Um, to be honest, Javier, I want not to remember what happened in that room. I honestly try my best not to remember. Um, I've, 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 I've really, I've really tried to shut it out of my life. There's, there's certain things that I can't. Uh, for me, the, it was. I had decided to myself, you know, I, I think I'm gonna die in this room, you know. And as soon as I mentioned that I was a student, the room just got very silent. And they all started to look at each other, and they said, "Okay." Um, so, and they told somebody to take me outside, and they took me outside. And there was at the end of the stairway was was this desk, and this 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 chair. So I sat down in the chair, and there were the paramedics, two paramedics, there. I was. I looked at this paramedic, and I I. He looked at me and says, oh, you're fine. There's nothing wrong with you. This is how I looked. When I, when I, when this is how I looked. 
five days after almost five days and I turned to this paramedic and I begged him I begged him I said please take me to the hospital because if you put me back in that room I'm going to die you know I said just don't let them take me back in that room and he turned to me and he says there's nothing wrong with you there's nothing wrong with you. And at that point in time, there's these two jeeps, you know, the, the Guarir Manor jeeps that, 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 that come with all the people and they all walk past me and you know, they all looked at me. Everybody saw me walk straight past me into the room. And I was like, I, I thought I was going to die because there's this the paramedic telling me that I'm fine. I had just been almost killed in a room and um, all these cops are passing in front of me and nobody's stopping to help me told me what was happening in, in Barcelona and they told me about about this case I don't know the details of the case I, I don't know much details about it I haven't I haven't even seen your documentary right um, all I knew was um, I tried to stay as far away from getting to this point that I am now literally crying and being upset because I don't like to be this way but um, after a couple of days of, 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 of prayer, um, I decided that this is what I need to do. I need to do the right thing. I need to come and tell people how I feel and what I passed through. At times, I said, seven years of my life, what I could have done with seven years of my life, being held back by this court case, what I could have done with those seven years, I'll never know. But I'll tell you what I did. Because you're telling me what I did. My case is now important for these people. And that, that's what I did for them. So I'm happy that this is happening. I'm happy that those seven years of my life mean something to people in Barcelona means something to people in Catalonia. I'm glad. I'm glad that I didn't spend seven years of my life fighting a lost cause for nothing to happen, for it to be just one of the books, close the file, it never happened. I'm glad that this case means something to people. I hope, even though my, my, my um, I can't, I'm not speaking very clearly because I'm very emotional about it, um, I hope that, that, that what I what I that what I've done will help you and help them um, because you, you 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 people have no idea what it, it is to be in that situation when you're falsely accused, you're beaten, you're tortured by by, by police 